Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight's dinner, we're making a slow cooker chicken tacos. So all you're gonna need is you're gonna need some um, chicken breast, which this chicken breast is still a little bit frozen, but that's fine. You're gonna need some cooking spray. You're gonna need some salsa verde, and you're gonna need some Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to spray our slow cooker real good with some cooking spray. And then we're going to measure a cup of salsa verde. Oops. So measure a cup of salsa verde. Now we're gonna start with a cup and we're gonna see how much how much that gives us. And if we need to add more, we will add more later. As it starts um, as it starts to cook down so we only have a cup right now that's all we need right now okay all right so I'm going to just wrap that little bit up right there and then I'll... okay um, okay so now that we have our crock pot sprayed and our um, salsa verde measured we're going to open our chicken breast so there's already, um, this chicken breast, like I said, is still quite frozen, but that's okay because when you cook stuff in the slow cooker, you can do that. So what you want to do is when you cut, you want to make sure that you're cutting kind of like where the plastic is, and that way it's easier. These are dirty. All right, so now I got my chicken breast cut. I'm going to open it. And we're gonna literally throw these in our slow cooker. Okay. So just throw them in your crock pot. And I know it's still kind of frozen, but that's okay because when you cook stuff in your slow cooker, you're allowed to do that. You're allowed to put stuff in your crock pot because it's not gonna really hurt anything. Um, it's not really gonna make a difference either. Now, as you can see, you can see that, look at that. See, still kind of frozen, but that's okay. And these are, these are gonna only cook on low for like three hours. So it's not, or I'm sorry, not three hours, my bad, four hours. Um, we might go more for five, but we'll see. Okay, so three chicken breasts in the middle of your crock pot. All right, so I'm gonna wash my hands and then we'll come back and we'll add the last two, and we'll add the last couple of ingredients. All right. So this recipe, as you know, we have done before. And if you guys have watched my slow cooker chicken taco video, then you guys should, um, you guys should already know how to make it. Um, it's very simple to do. Oops, it's not very um, difficult. And you're really just doing nothing. You just, it's really just a, um, it's, it's, it's a, a dumping go meal. You just throw everything in your slow cooker and you let it go all day. Or, well, you can let it go for, now you can let this go for six to eight hours on low, or you can let it go for three to four hours on high. But we, I like to cook on the low setting because it just helps. Um, it, I feel like it comes out better when you cook to low and slow. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put in We're gonna put, now remember we measured out one cup of salsa verde. We have, this is roughly um, three chicken breasts. Oh, it smells so good. We're gonna put one tablespoon of this in here. Now the reason why we do this is because this adds nice flavor to your slow cooker. We don't need a lot, I'm just doing it Kind of the one with bottom. Okay, now I'm gonna put in one, or not, I'm sorry, not one. One cup of salsa verde. This you're gonna pour over the chicken. Now remember, this chicken breast is still a little bit frozen. But like I said, that's totally fine because when you cook in the slow cooker, you can do that. You're allowed to cook stuff in your slow cooker a little frozen because it's not gonna really hurt anything if it cooks a little frozen, that's fine. As long as you cook on the low setting, it's totally fine. So I'm 
So what I'm gonna do to this slow cooker so that way all that salsa verde can get in there is we're just gonna kinda squish it around and it looks covered. So look, this is what your slow cooker will look like after you have all your ingredients in your crock pot. Now, let's discuss cooking time. Hold on guys. cooking time so we're gonna cook we're gonna put this in the um cooking sleeve on low for four to six hours until the meat is nice and tender um if you um don't want to go for four to six hours you can cook it on high but I, like i said i do like to cook my food on low because i think it comes out a little bit better when it's cooked low and slow all right so i will we're gonna put this on in here on low and I'll come back in a few hours to show you what it looks like. And I will be using, um, I will be using the meat claws to shred up this chicken. All right, so let's get this in. So cover. I'm gonna put this in the sleeve. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna turn it on. We're gonna go to program. We're gonna go up to, let's do cook for five hours. Um, we're gonna cook for like four to five hours on low until this chicken's tender. We're gonna hit enter. We're gonna do low. We're gonna hit enter again. And there you go. All right, so lid is on, cook on low, and we're gonna cook it for like four to five hours until this chicken is nice and tender. Um, the rule of thumb is that when you cook in your slow cooker, once this lid is on, you don't take it off because every time you take off the lid, you have to add an additional 30 minutes to it. So you don't want to do that. So um, just let, leave it alone. Go do something else for like four to five hours and come back and your chicken should be done. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. I'll be back later to show you what it looks like and that'll be it. All right. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Bye. Vlog on. Peace out. Boom. Okay. Bye guys.